Now, welcome back to Expresso Broadcasting live from Seapoint on SABC3. Now, uh, most people will get a grill if they, if they think about having rats as pets, but actually they make great pets, especially for kids. And here to tell us a bit more are two rat enthusiasts, uh, Courtney Murphy and uh, Via Ratilovsky from Ratanuga. Welcome to Expresso. Thank you. Welcome to Expresso. Ratilovsky, that's an interesting yes. surname. <laughs> befitting. <laughs> befitting, very befitting. All right, now you guys started a website specifically to create a club for rat enthusiasts. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, we started in 2005, um, basically just to, to, to put, uh, to, to bring more awareness out for rats and yeah. rat care because it's, it's, they're a lot more complex than people think. So, you know, just to let people know what, what bedding, what nutrition, you know, and a place. We've also got forums, so, you know, they can chat, we share pictures of each other's rats and stuff. So, it's so, so where did your love for rats start then? Because, I mean, it seems you like very into the rats, eh? <laughs> oh, years ago, years ago. I, yeah, no, about 16, <laughs> 16, 17 years ago. It was... Yeah. yeah, for me as well. My parents had rats as pets, and so when I was a kid, grew up with rats and everything. So right. now let's talk. Now, if you get a rat, right. well, firstly, tell me a bit about these rats because I understand that they are pedigreed rats. Yes. <laughs> so they actually breed the rats. Yeah, with we, certificates and all. Yes, yes, yes. They've got lines and everything. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, one of the breeders in Pretoria brought in 18 pairs of rats, and all pedigrees from the USA and um, and the UK, and we've. Through, through our breeders, we've actually, you know, bred them into the local lines. And that one there that you're holding there, yeah. that's Figgy. Uh, Figgy. She's a Siamese. Oh, my word. And I had got, no idea. <laughs> we've got uh, Macro here, who's a husky. And I saw at the bottom there, who's a Burmese. Yeah. She's got the boys there. That's interesting. Okay, so let's say we want to get a rat, or the people want to get a rat. Where do they start? Let's start with, okay, bedding. Bedding. What bedding can you use for rats? Can you just kind of use anything because they, you know, rats? Or not? <laughs> um, well, not actually. Uh, a lot of the pet shops will sell pine shavings or wood shavings. Uh, in, in South Africa, we any shavings is, is most likely uh, pine. And the actual the fennels in the pine is actually toxic to rats and causes okay. you know, mycoplasma, liver problems. Also in hamsters, but yeah. you know, to a smaller degree. So we actually have this amazing, it's actually called amazing corn cob. <laughs> amazing corn cob. Bedding, yeah, and um, you can actually uh, find contacts on how to buy it through our website. Through the website, so yeah. all the info on there as well. Now, see, you've used a little blanket as well. Yeah, uh, one of the covers, you basically have two options. You know, you can go with this one, which is the amazing one, and then um, with the levels on the cage, you can just line it with some fleece. Okay. Let's quickly talk about uh, diet, Via. Um, are there certain things that you need to feed a rat, or can they also just, you know, you kind of feed them anything? No, you do have to take care. Um, you basically have two options. You can go to a pet store, and you can get a prepackaged mix. Uh, that's made specifically for rats, but you do have to make sure that uh, dried corn and soya are not the main ingredients because they can cause cancer. Right. Otherwise, you can do what uh, many people do. It's a homemade mix. You have puffed wheat in it, puffed rice, sunflower seeds, uh, there's multigrain flakes and some pasta as well. And the recipe is on our website. Mm -hmm. And it works out really cheaply. Healthy um, food for healthy rats. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right, now, um, signs of illness, because I know you don't take your rats, you know, to the vet for regular checkups or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, but what are the, some of the signs when your rat is not feeding so well? And, and what can you do, uh, you know, when your rat is sick? Uh, well, the first sign that you look for is porphyrin, which is a red mucus. It'll usually come out of their eyes and their nose. A red mucus. Yeah. Um, it sometimes happens if they're stressed, like today. Uh, no, oh, go shame. Ahead so I'm trying yes. to keep it calm. Shame. But yeah. I think it's exploring too much. Check it out. Yeah, so, no, perfect. she's having fun. My boy uh, seems to be a bit stressed. <laughs> yeah. But also hair is standing on end, and if they're hunched or if they're um, lethargic. Yeah. And then the most common issue with them is um, respiratory infections. Yeah. They have a bacteria called mycoplasma, as Courtney mentioned, in their lungs. And um, when they're young, you know, they don't really feel it, but as they get older, they start to develop um, secondary infections. So you have uh -huh. to take them to the vet to get some antibiotics. And okay, now, out, yeah. now, if you want to buy more than one rat and you want to, you know, uh, do you need to buy, like, do you need to put them, like, male and female together, or? No. No? Uh, no, we actually discourage breeding because we, we try and keep the, 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 the breeders doing the breeding. It's actually oh, very really? complicated to breed this. There can be lots of complications and it's actually unfair really? to do Okay, so you yeah. want to keep it, you know, female, Most female, otherwise, as you say, breeding. I was sitting with yeah. 25,000 exactly. rats soon. Every yeah. month they have a litter. So. Really? Every month they have a litter? Yeah. Yes. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Expresso this morning. Thank you. I'm sure you've been inspired a lot of people to go get some of these <laughs> cute critters. <laughs> That there we go. Fun. All right. Now, um, just uh, that was Courtney. There we go. That was Courtney and Via from Ratanuga. Just that website, www.ratanuga.co.za for all your ratting needs. Now, let's go over to, uh, to the kids and see what beautiful mosaic hearts they are making.